Deliberating on the matter, the five-man bench today upheld five of the seven objections to competency filed by the second intervener, Attorney General Pilaniningi. This dismisses the opposition leader's application in the Supreme Court under Section 18 of the Constitution. This is what the opposition leader, Douglas Tumeriasa, had to say. Uh, we, from the opposition, respect the court's decision. Uh, our lawyers have argued our case and uh, we have heard from the Chief Justice ruling that out of the five uh, men bench, four have ruled against us and one has ruled in support of our uh, application. He added by saying the opposition will now prepare for the next parliament sitting. We will now uh, concentrate in preparation for September 3 when parliament uh, resumes. The VONC is not dead, it's still alive. And so we in the opposition uh, thinking positive, optimistic of our chances and we'll go and regroup now and make certain that uh, our team is strong as ever and we'll proceed on to September 3 parliament session. Meanwhile, the Attorney General, Pilani Ningi, said he was not surprised of what transpired in court today. I think uh, the councils who have represented me, they did a good job. I have to congratulate them and commend them uh, for the job well done. Well, alternatively, on the other side, it's they did, did a poor, poor job. They've never had good. Uh, the, with points of law, we put, our counsels are put across. They never even argued. For the interest of the justice, they, they fail in miserably. And so I knew that, that it will come uh, our way, and I'm not surprised. As part of the orders, subject to specific cost orders made in the course of the proceedings, the applicant shall pay the second intervener's costs of the proceedings on a party-to-party -party basis, which shall, if not agreed, be taxed. Hi. Welcome to the Chronicles of HP YouTube channel. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and like this video to support the channel. Much love and stay blessed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, bring to your attention that the opposition is now ready here we are calling upon our fellow brothers and sisters from the other side that uh, change must happen. Change must happen. Papua New Guinea has struggled and you don't have to go far to see. Today if your ears were open and the media cameras were on, you would have captured what the speaker has mentioned, has said. Deputy Speaker of the National Parliament, Connie Iguan, has confirmed that he has received a motion of no confidence on Prime Minister James Marape by the opposition. The PBC only sits on a Wednesday during Parliament meetings. It will need to ensure that the motion meets all the requirements, including the name of the alternate Prime Minister, and if the motion is second, and as the signatures of 12 or more members of Parliament. The Deputy Speaker Connie Egon made the announcement at the end of the session. Of no confidence is a matter of national importance and will take its precedence in the private business day. Before that happens, it must be placed on the notice paper for the minimum of seven days. Wednesday, the private business committee will meet to clear the notice of motion of no confidence based on the technical requirements of section 145 of the constitution and the standing orders the court found that there were no compelling reasons advanced by the second intervener to set aside the orders of 19 july the substantive matter will now be heard on thursday the first of august which is tomorrow to this the attorney general reflects uh, but our application is to get uh, minor uh, things sorted out. Uh, the Supreme Court re requires us to uh, file affidavits. No ruling was made in affidavits of file. 
both parties. The court should give uh, time to the, uh, the time to the applicants and then to us, and then we agree to or disagree on facts. He further highlighted. When you disagree on facts, the procedure is that you you have to call evidence. The single judge decides. Now, all these rules have not been observed. Uh, so that's why I've, uh, I've instructed the lawyers to uh, file. They have to adhere to the Supreme Court rules. This this is the highest court of the land, uh, and they have to follow the new rules. So they have, the rules have not been observed. Meanwhile, the opposition leader Douglas Tumiriesa and the opposition MPs welcomed the decision, declaring that this was wonderful news for the people of Papua New Guinea. Yes, yes, yes. He went on to encourage the public to let the court rulings prevail. And we want to encourage you all uh, to stay calm and allow the courts to make the rulings. We are confident, very confident. Uh, in the opposition, that uh, the the uh, course we are running will eventually come to the dreams and the aspirations and the decisions that we think is right uh, in the course. He further added the urgency to the substantive meta hearing, and that must be done immediately, so that uh, the ruling can come back and uh, Parliament can be recalled and uh, addition must be made. Uh, Maskilo Giamman are run away from the uh, vote of no confidence. No, no, Maski, no, no, no. Uh, come and face it. Mipla uh, 33 Tasso, but uh, we are standing strong. Mr. Tumeriasa commended the opposition's legal team and thanked the four-man bench in the Supreme Court who ruled on two of the matters in favor of the opposition. The Supreme Court today dismissed the Attorney General's application to attend the opposition's substantive hearing from August 1st to a later date. The finding of the court was twofold. The court found that the notice of motion by the second intervener, the Attorney General filed and moved on Monday this week, was incompetent. Despite the fact that it was incompetent, the court went on to rule on the merits of the notice of motion, and the court found that in terms of the merits of the motion, there were no compelling reasons advanced by the second intervener to set aside the orders of July 19th. The substantive matter will now be aired on Thursday, the 1st of August. Opposition leader Douglas Tomuriesa outside the courthouse called for calm from the people and allowed the court process to take its course. He is confident for a fair decision to be ended down soon when the substantive matter is concluded. Our court systems have been respected by the opposition and we believe that uh, the judgments will be fair, not only for the opposition, but for the people of Papua New Guinea. And today's uh, ruling again is in the favor of the opposition, in the favor of the people of Papua New Guinea. And we all know that the substantive matter will be heard tomorrow. The opposition leader further stressed that their fight for justice was to make certain that the voice of the majority of Papua New Guineans must be heard through the courts. This ruling now sets the course for us to go to the substantive matter. And that must be done immediately so that uh, the ruling can come back and the uh, parliament can be recalled and uh, addition must be made. Uh, Maskilo Giamana ran away from the uh, vote of no confidence. No, no, no. Maski, no, no, no. Yeah. come and face it. Mipla uh, 33 Tasso, but uh, we are standing strong. Now you propose it when number came. So I call upon every Papua New Guinean, please stay calm, cool, and uh, let's allow justice to uh, make its way and cause for the good of the country. Meantime, Minister for Justice and Attorney General Pila Ningi was disappointed of the court's decision this morning, but says he is looking forward to the substantive hearing, which commences tomorrow morning. This is just a preliminary application. It's not a major, uh, major uh, case. 
the battle is won. We will we will take it on. Uh, so I'm happy with the Supreme Court decision. At least uh, the court has handed down decision. Uh, so we've got to go go from there. Well, I thank you. Well done. Well done. Congratulations, Contractor. It is totally uh, my, my uh, privilege with uh, the Honorable Rosso. Uh, in, as, as we said, one of the main focus in 2019 when we took office was to empower public agents in all spaces. One of which was to make sure public contractors get contracts where they can get. And we made deliberate policy intervention. That at 10 million China and below, if contractors are well in our country, no overseas contractor will get those contracts. In between 10 to 30 million, first preference to PND contractors. If they are in a JV, then it must be a JV with overseas. No overseas contractor will be on a standalone. And of course, above 30 million China is open bid. So it just totally pleases me to see a public and contractors, many things we cannot do it. To all publics out there, get your hands dirty to do something. And do it faithfully. Sometimes people get something and they don't complete it and they walk away. We have skeletons of walk away contracts also all over our country. But it most my heart when faithful contractors like this, they're able to deliver within budget. Sometimes it's a little bit late, but within budget late because of funding consistency. I want to say thank you very much to the local contractor. Looking forward to you. your heavy work up to pass and hopefully your reference for this sort of work will get you nowhere you know, without preempting the process. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. So All right, everyone, thank you so much. Uh, right now we have with us the uh, contractor. We like introducing contractors so you can sign a face well too. He has been the international standard and of course he has delivered the work at a state of our facility. Uh, he's the owner of uh, OM Builders. He's a uh, he's a local Norwegian and he's delivered the building. So thank you to Heaven for your dedication to uh, deliver this state-of-art facility. Thank you. Thank you, Master of Summary. Uh, thank you, Vela Vigota. Thank you, Vela Vigota. Thank you, Vela Thank you. The pleasure you need to make me feel like a thousand. My Prime Minister, thank you, sir, for you, uh, ซีเรียลนี้ครับผมเนี่ยเอาเอาเสียงออกมาเสียงครับวันที่มีนาทีก็ต้องทำรูปเสียงดูมาดูเอ็นพีซีเลเวลแต่มีคนเจ้าเด